Hi, my name is Kayla Spicer, and I'll be performing the enema portion of this checkoff. So to begin, I'm going to gather all of my supplies. I have clean gloves, my um, enema set, bedpan, and my water. Um, normally I'd use the sink, but just for the sake of filming this video, I've put a thousand milliliters of warm water into this water bottle. Okay, so I'm going to perform hand hygiene. And I'm going to don my goggles. And I'm going to get my enema bag here. I'm going to make sure that this is clamped. Then I would get 750 to 1,000 milliliters of warm water or saline. And then, oh, do more than that. Okay. Then I'd also add in the Castile soap. And um, gently agitate it. And then I'm going to prime my tubing just by unclamping it. That went everywhere. Um, now that's done. I would hang it on an IV pole. And I'm just going to set it on the flat surface since I don't have the IV pole. Just for now. Then I'm going to don my clean gloves. I'm going to raise the bed to a working height and lower the side rails and um, Tell my patient about the procedure that's about to happen. I'm going to assist them into left lateral Sims position. And I'm going to put down the waterproof pad here. the shiny side facing down. Okay, and then I'm also going to apply lubricant. I would just put it on the um, waterproof pad here, remove the top, and then 
just apply that here about three to four inches on the tubing. Then I'm going to instruct my patient to take deep, slow breaths, um, spread the buttocks, and insert the tubing about three to four inches. I'm going to unclamp and then raise it about 12 to 18 inches. And if the patient has any cramping or discomfort, I can lower the bag or completely clamp. And I'm gonna let all of the water drain through. And when that's finished, I'm going to take out the tubing. and um, place my patient back into normal positioning and place the bedpan underneath them with the larger side towards the back and the narrower side towards the legs underneath my patient and instruct them to hold it 10 to 15 minutes or as long as possible. And then I will leave the room and come back to dispose of the bedpan um, perform any uh, care to the patient, clean them, and I would document the findings, um, consistency, color, how the patient reacted, how much of the enema was given, and I will dispose of my items, clean, um, take off my gloves, and perform hand hygiene. And then I will put new gloves on, take all of the um, waterproof padding away, and assist the patient comfortably. Thank you.